The top of homes are small in footprint, but big in comfort and functionality. By placing the bathroom in the center of the unit, daylight can illuminate both ends of the space. This also creates a separation between the common kitchen, dining, and living area, which is closest to the gallery side, which is more public, from the private bedrooms towards the southern courtyard. The living area receives nice northern light, which is ideal for a living space. However, the private bedroom can also be converted into a living area or home office by just folding up the bed. Flexible furniture provides a smarter use of the space. This allows the units to have a flexible layout that can be optimized to the orientation of the existing building and to the user's needs. Two modules can also be combined into a two-bedroom unit, which is great for small families or shared living. This combined unit includes a winter garden on the south end, which prevents overheating in the summer months, but becomes a nice, comfortable balcony in the winter months. The glass of the winter garden also includes photovoltaics to maximize energy production. The materiality of the building expresses the essence of the existing concrete building and the new lightweight top of construction. A differentiation in materiality creates a clear contrast between the new and the old. The existing building expresses a grounded character and its role as a supporter through a heavier appearance, while the top of addition has a lightweight character and articulates its role as an energy producer. A modular panel system incorporates various panel types into the facade. Panels with living green, nooks for animals, energy production, and tiles that are similar to the bricks of the existing building. The top of addition is the main energy hub for the building, but the roof is the main generator. A single pitched roof is clad in PV panels and is supported by a lightweight steel structure that sits on top of the modules. This separate structure allows for more modules to be added in at a later stage. The large area of the roof is also used to collect rainwater, which runs down the rain chains on the gallery side and irrigates the surrounding plants. Rainwater is also collected and stored down below.